So I remember seeing on a web page a link called Cricut. So I'm going to start and actually find this link. Again, I open the web router. Headings menu. Uh, you notice I'm on the heading, so I'm going to left arrow to links. Links menu. And I begin typing Cricut. Nine items. Link. Link. Cricut. Here it is. I'm going to press enter and the focus will go straight to the Cricut link. Link. Cricut. Cricut. Now I'm going to activate this link by pressing Control Option Spacebar. This is a voiceover shortcut key. Press link. Cricket. Cricket. Wik Cricket. Wikipedia. The free encyclopedia page has 1,079 links, 52 headings, 4 form controls, 12 tables, 14 landmarks. So again, you may have noticed that voiceover just pronounced the page summary. It told me how many headings, links, tables, and 4 fields on the page there are, which is a lot. There's like 1,000 links or something like that. But we're not interested in links anymore. What we're going to do next is look at the form fields. So I'm going to open Web Router again. Headings menu. Links menu. And arrow Headings right menu. until I reach Form Controls. Form Controls menu. From here, I want to search for Form Field uh, with the label of Search, because I'm going to be searching for something. 13 one item, Here it is. search, insertion at beginning of text. Search, I will edit press text. enter key to jump to that field. Search, insertion at beginning of text. Search, edit text. Search access key available, F. You've noticed screen viewer told me the label of this field, but it also told me that there is a access key, or in other words, it's a shortcut key that I can press to quickly jump to this search field from anywhere on the web page. If you're interested in how access keys work, please look into instructor's notes for more information. So what I'll do here, I'll type the word Udacity. Udacity, Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia page has 346 links, 16 headings, 4 form controls, 2 tables, 13 landmarks. Notice how screen viewer pronounced the word Udacity as Udacity. This is a pretty common occurrence because the uh, speech synthesizer is trying to take its best guess at how to pronounce certain words, and of course it makes mistakes. However, screen viewer users are pretty resilient to this sort of to these kinds of situations because we often tend to uh, look at different web pages and words aren't always spelled the way um, we expect them to be. To make the long story short, uh, it suffice to know that screen viewers do provide a lot of shortcut keys, and one of those shortcut keys is a way to spell a specific word or even a sentence letter by letter. So for example, if I did want to know how the word Udacity is spelled, I could simply jump to the place on the web page where the word occurs. Heading level, heading level two, contents. Heading level two, four items. History, Le heading level two, form control. One item, headings menu. One item, heading level one, Udacity, heading level one, Udacity. And then I can press Control Option W to have VoiceOver spell this word out for me. Udacity. U Uniform Delta. Udacity. U D A C I T Y. So using the alternative spelling is just going to teach me to spell things wrong. So please refrain from using these methods in the name of improving the experience of screen reader users.